Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here, back with more to Sky 4, Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we did a couple of filler maps while we were looking around for Fuka's dad. In this episode, now that I have a bit more cash, I'm gonna look into getting that uh, staff for a measle. No, oh, these are all terrible. Ah, there's one. I gotta sell something there. Oh, that's good actually. Yeah, plus 163. Alright, now we've taken care of that bit of silliness. Let's uh Let's put all these away for now. Let's carry on. Hopefully this won't be a filler map too. Two-headed dragon. It's a filler map. Ain't that just great? Also, what's a two-headed dragon doing here? Those don't show up until this guy at five. Alright, anyway. Huh? Well then. Here I go. Let's delta of death. I'm so Let's yog sothoth or however you want to pronounce that, I guess. And let's see. I wonder if, uh... Here I come. No, actually, I have no idea. Alright, Amizel, let's, uh... Can you lift this one? You can! That, uh, that did a bit of damage to you, but I guess that's fine. Because it means I can now... No, I can't. Still too high. Now we should be good. Oh, no range, that's why. Well, uh, that's pretty easy to fix too, but first, I'm gonna have Sasha do a healing spell. Let's, uh, get Rattoo in on the healing action too. Let's do our best. I thank you. Are you okay? Time to bust some balls. Cyrus, you can take care of this one. And now he should be good for a show stealing uh, Desco attack. Heck yeah! That was easy. One turn victory. Alright, moving on. Mission improbable. We make the impossible improbable. Must be Fuka's dad. Hey, that's. Uh, I didn't think you'd make it back on your own, my final weapon girl, Desko. <laughs> Genjuro Kazamatsuri. Daddy! Hey, what did you just call him? He's my dad. Also, he does not even notice his human daughter. <laughs> What's the matter, lass? You 
finally gone mad. <laughs> finally, he says. Lord, please excuse my audacity. However, this lass's insanity didn't just start right now. Yeah, see, Fenric knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's Space Wars, starring, uh, you know, I don't even know. I can't say William Shatter because he's Star Trip. Lass, what kind of man is your father exactly? If he created Desco, then he can't be just an ordinary human. Isn't it obvious he's a mad scientist? See? See? <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Mad? Is that his official job title? That has got to be the best job title ever. Besides, you know, Planetary Protection Officer. <laughs> That's a real job at NASA, by the way. That's what I said! Fuga, what are you doing here? I thought you went to hell. Uh, that's quite a thing to say. <laughs> what? How can you say that about your own daughter? Well, you're not the head of the time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Still not 100% consensus. <laughs> Do you remember your promise? Now you must go through my intensive training to become a Prinny. Prinny rule number one. You shall always include the word dude in every line you say. No, this is a dream. No, a nightmare. This is all some kind of misunderstanding. Well, which is it? Uh, okay. Oh, jeez. This is, uh, this is just like the other thing. Way back in Chapter 2, except, uh, except a little more annoying. Alright, but I do have a plan, and that plan is... That. Followed by... That. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then. Here I come. Dang it, Sasha, you're supposed to work with me here. Fine, the measles, you do it. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then. This! And now we wait. Did I forget to heal a measle? Dang it. I beg your pardon. We do that, and then... There. There. We do that. Oh, that works better than I thought it would. Okay. And then we charge! Uh, Fuka, you lead the charge, because you're awesome like that. Fertile, you back her up. Sasha, you get the measle and also yourself some healing. 
He's Sir Emizel. Actually, does Fuka even know Catastrophe? I don't think she does. She does not. Oh well. Let's get Artina down here then. At least she has a long range attack. That does not quite reach. Dang it, Artina, you had one job! <laughs> You ran out of SP, Fuka. You had one job. I guess that works, though. So. Measel, uh, why don't you join them? I guess. Oh, you guys are weak to wind. Okay. It's Mega Wind! It's Giga Heal. I guess that works. Mega heat, whoops. Mega heal. Actually, will a giga heal reach? Yeah, it will. Okay. You okay? I guess that works. Didn't even notice her at first. Well, I'm disappointed in you. How could you become an evil scientist? What are you saying, Fuka? There's no good or evil in science. It's only what we humans make it out to be. You can't fool me. You made Desco, the bio suits, the clones. You created all of them. Well, you know, the humans are kind of the problem here, so I don't know if that argument really holds water right now. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Shut up! What, sardines again? Just stay out of this for now, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> you look busy, Papa Torres. But the party has just begun. Shall we start the main event? Dr. Kazumatsuri, could you please activate it now? Sure thing. Everything should be ready. I've been sending their battle data to it as we went, so it should be ready to go at any time. Of course, Doctor. My time and effort spent bringing you here has been well worth it for your abilities. Nah, it's the amount.
amount of funding you offer that helped me with my research. We both know that we're just using each other. There's no need for you to flatter me. <laughs> At least they both know about it. You're all business, huh, Doctor? That's what I like about you. Anyway, it's all you now. Dad, why the hell did you team up with that guy? What is your research all about? I can't tell you yet, but you'll find out soon enough. Hey, wait! Don't run away from me, you old man! Like father, like daughter, he's unpredictable. He's... he's not my dad! He's never done a single thing for me that's even remotely father-like! So, you had no idea what kind of research your father was doing? I knew it was something related to the military, but I didn't think it was to destroy everyone. Looks like you've been through a lot, too. I think I understand now why you act so weird. Like you have a personality disorder. <laughs> what part of me is weird? And don't pity me, fool. In any event, everything worked out in the end. Now it's been proven that you and Desco are half-sisters. That's what it seems like. Whether that's good or bad. Big sis. Sorry, Desco. You were created, and then they treated you as a final boss, or destructive weapon, or whatever. It must have been hard. But she's proud to be a final boss! I'm so sorry that you had to go through all of that because of Dad. It's okay. Please don't worry about Desco, Big Sis. Desco is okay. All Desco wants is for Big Sis to approve of her as your little sister. Sure. Looks like I have no choice but to approve of you as my little sister. At least until I wake up from this dream. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, Miss Desco. Anyway, is Fuga still gonna keep saying that this is just her dream? Huh? Hey, I didn't get to find out anything about who attacked me. Your father should know that, right? He made it pretty clear that you're dead. I said I'm not dead! I'm sure we'll find out the truth during the upcoming main event. Oh? What makes you so sure? Because that's the most dramatic way to reveal this truth. Val knows what's up. Oh, I see. You're rather convincing for some reason. You know what that means, guys. Upcoming boss fight. <laughs> see y'all tomorrow with a boss fight. Bye-bye for now.